We're celebrating our 60th anniversary in the wonderful setting of Westminster Abbey in London. There are some familiar faces and fans in the congregation. And we've brought together some special singing and music combinations from our Songs of Praise family to mark the occasion. It's the Songs of Praise 60th anniversary. Thank you very much indeed. A very warm welcome to the wonderful Westminster Abbey in the heart of London. We're back singing together on songs of praise, socially distanced, of course. But what better occasion to do it than celebrating our 60th anniversary. Gathered here in the Abbey, we have some familiar faces ready to sing some of our favourite hymns with choir vocal creation and organist Matthew Yorish, under the guidance of our conductor, Ken Burton. Let's start as we mean to go on with a hymn that marks the passing of time, Lord for the years. How wonderful it is to be back singing together once again. It's time for our first special guests and one of our newest presenters together with our current Young Chorister of the Year. Please welcome Laura Wright and Alexander. Welcome. Laura, our newest presenter, how are you enjoying it? 
Oh, it's so much fun. I feel like I'm part of this wonderful family here at Songs of Praise and to be here performing as well with Alex and, and as a young chorister myself, it feels very special. You've had an amazing year. What have been some of the highlights for you? Yeah, I've had an amazing year as a young chorister and I've particularly enjoyed recording with the BBC Philharmonic and also singing in St Paul's Cathedral. Well, we can't wait to hear you both sing together. What are you going to sing? Oh, we're going to be singing Make Me a Channel of Your Peace. Favourite of yours? Yeah, really I lovely. hope so. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was the right answer. That's what I was going to say. Really looking forward to it. Ladies and gentlemen, Laura and Alexander. Laura Wright and Alexander. <laughs> Weren't they absolutely stunning? Well, our next guests have presented over 500 Songs of Praise episodes between them. That's nearly 10 years' worth of programmes. Phenomenal. Please welcome the legends, Pam Rhodes and Sally Magnusson. <laughs> How are you, legend? <laughs> A legend, wow. I thought you'd enjoy the legend oh, bit. Absolutely, that makes us sound Better very old. Tweedle dum and tweedle dee. <laughs> that was the other one. <laughs> Over 300 shows you've presented, Pam. That's incredible, more than anybody else. Do you remember your first programme? St Albans Cathedral, which is my own diocese, and, and it was a youth rally over an Easter weekend, so I've gone from cub reporter to Auntie Pam on this programme in 34 years. <laughs> you certainly have. <laughs> <laughs> but you weren't the first presenter to present. Uh, in it was present me. company, it was you, it was 1984. Me. Was it 84? It I was, was trying to work out whether it was 84 or 85. Yeah. My goodness. My goodness. <laughs> Very daunting. Do you remember <laughs> yes. your first programme? I don't. I confess I don't. The first one I actually remember with a sort of date attached to it is uh, in December 1985 when I was about to give birth to my first child and I had been due to present the programme. It, it was a Christmas programme and I was uh, rushed into hospital instead. 
but nothing happened for a while, <laughs> so they brought the cameras in. And I, uh, I no. did a, yeah, I did a little piece of camera from my hospital bed, and I read the, you know, the, the lovely Christmas uh, <laughs> piece about Mary giving birth. Wow. And, yeah. Singing a carol whilst giving birth, amazing. Yeah, I do. No, they don't ask us to sing, Alice. Yes, no, they, yes. no, they don't. Yeah, they do. it's, it's, yes, I was just thinking how wonderful that singing was from, from Laura and how, yes, we were not hired for our singing yeah. talents, were we? No. <laughs> but you were hired for your presenting skills and you've presented so many programmes. Uh, some of the highlights for you then. The great privilege for me in all the programmes I did was going into people's lives, going into their communities, going into their homes, and being witness to the highest and the lowest of, of human experience. This is a profound program, Songs mm -hmm. of Praise. It deals with life and it deals with death. And to, to be with people um, explaining what grace is, showing what resilience is, struggling for hope, you know, we've, we, we have our laughs. We certainly um, do. We certainly do, but, but we, we touch people at, at their most um, vulnerable as well, and, and that's a privilege. Well, I feel like a newbie standing on the stage with you two. <laughs> um, I joined in 2000, and you were both inspirations to me. I watched how you did it and learned such a lot from you. Pam Rhodes and Sally Magnuson. Thank you. Thank you. Now we're here in Westminster Abbey, which is also known as the Royal Church. And so it seems rather fitting that I have an important message for our 60th anniversary from a very special person, Her Majesty the Queen. She says, For 60 years, Songs of Praise has drawn together congregations and BBC viewers throughout the United Kingdom in collective worship. During that time, the programme has shown Christianity as a living faith, not only through hymns and worship songs, but also by featuring the many people who've put their faith at the centre of their lives. I congratulate Songs of Praise and all those involved in the programme on its 60th anniversary. What a wonderful message, ladies and gentlemen. Well, next year we celebrate the Queen's Platinum Jubilee and her coronation took place here in Westminster Abbey in 1953. So it feels only fitting to follow her message with a hymn sung in this very building at her coronation. It is all people that on earth do dwell.
Wonderful singing, all of you. Well, we've another special Songs of Praise music collaboration next. Please welcome our current Gospel Singer of the Year, Monique McKen, and my fellow presenter and amazing saxophonist, Yolanda Brown. Now I can tell already that this partnership is going to be something special. Uh, what a year you've had. It's been amazing. amazing what have you enjoyed year. the most? I have to say that tonight uh, has got to be a highlight for me. It doesn't get any better than singing at Westminster Abbey. It's got quite a nice acoustic. Yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? Make me sound good. You don't need the acoustic. <laughs> you sound absolutely fantastic. How important is religious music to you? Extremely important. It's, it's the foundation to... Uh, my life and the life of so many when you can't find the words in prayer you can sing a song you can hum a song you can be cleaning the house and singing a song and it's still all praise to God you were nodding there music means the world to you doesn't it oh it's so powerful and you're right I mean even just thinking about what we've been through through in lockdown I think music has been so powerful to carry us through to help share the emotions that we can't put into words and then when you bring in faith and you bring in the idea that you can remember that God is here for us you might not remember it in words but as soon as the song kicks in even as we've been here today Absolutely. it just brings it to life it seeps into your soul it does it does well, Monique, you've chosen what you're going to perform. What is it? It's a hymn, Blessed Assurance. Monique McKen and Yolanda Brown with Blessed Assurance. Wasn't that really special? Monique McCann and Yolanda Brown. Wonderful. <laughs> Our next guest is a very familiar Songs of Praise face. It's the one and only David Grant. <laughs> oh, it's been a while. How are you, young man? It has been a while. Great suit. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> it's lovely to see you. I was going to say, you more than anyone know the power of raising your voice to God. Absolutely, and I've witnessed it so often whilst doing this programme. 
And you know, one of the great things about Songs of Praise and the reason why I think we're celebrating 60 years is because music is soul food and not just listening to music, but singing, being a part of it. You know, whether you're, you're part of the congregation singing, whether you're at home with other people singing along or just listening to the music, it's a point of inspiration. Absolutely. It's a point at which you know, even if I'm on my own, I'm not alone. What I love also about Songs of Praise is now you look at the presenters and it's totally representative of the diversity that we have in this country. It's as though with each age, this program has reinvented itself to connect with the people of that age over 60 years, which means it's as relevant today as it was in October 1961. Beautifully put. David Grant, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're in for a real treat next. We have a very special performance from the choir of Westminster Abbey, conducted by their organist and master of the choristers, James O'Donnell. Now, the title of this anthem could be a songs of praise motto, let all the world in every corner sing. Well, it wouldn't be a celebration of songs of praise without my final guest. Ten years ago, she appeared at our 50th anniversary celebration, and today I'm glad to call her a fellow presenter and friend. It's Catherine Jenkins. Hello. <laughs> now, it's been a busy ten years. Marriage, two children, yeah. and most importantly, you've become a songs of praise presenter. Yay. <laughs> what does it mean to you? 
Oh, it, you know, it's, I absolutely love it. Um, I, having been a, a guest, you know, for many years, I remember watching it with my nana, um, and it meant so much to her. So then to be part of the Songs of Praise family has always been so lovely. And we just get to meet the nicest people, don't we? Um, see the most gorgeous places. I really love it. So I'm very, very thankful and feel very blessed to be part of this wonderful family. Well, seeing as you're here and you're not really doing anything else, fancy a little sing-song? <laughs> uh, after all of this time, absolutely. <laughs> Phew. Well, I'll tell you what, earn your keep. You can uh, introduce it. Uh, this is one of my favourite hymns. This is Be Still for the Presence of the Lord. For the presence of the Lord, the Holy One is here. Come bow before him now with a reverence and fear. In a him and our sin is found, we stand on a And that's almost it. Thank you for joining us here at Westminster Abbey. What a celebration of 60 years it's been. And here's to another 60 years of songs of praise. When it comes to a final hymn, there was really only one we could choose. Not only is it hugely popular, but it's one we've adopted as our very own. You'll know what I mean when you get to the final verse. It is, guide me, O thou great redeemer. Thanks for joining us for this special 60th anniversary program from Westminster Abbey. Until next time, goodbye. <laughs>